Good morning everyone, Brian here again with BMK Retro Gaming. This morning I have the review for us of the Atari VCS 2600 Homebrew game, Skeleton Plus. Now, uh, as I understand it, there was an earlier ga uh, Homebrew game for the Atari VCS 2600 just titled Skeleton. And, well, Skeleton Plus is basically... Um, kind of a re-release, an update to the game with some improvements. Anyway, uh, it was um, developed by Eric Ball with uh, label design uh, artwork by Dale Crum. Um, it looks like it was under development 2002 or so, or that may have been when the original skeleton was more or less out. I don't know for sure. It might have been even earlier than that. And it was released in 2003, apparently published by Atari Age. Anyway, uh, it's got a number of new features that the original skeleton didn't have. For instance, you have life and kill counters. Um, you have a new undead locator, which helps you out with locating these skeletons you're trying to get rid of. And um, the in the original, you'd have eight maze levels with ten skeletons apiece you had to find and destroy. This one, you actually can set it so you only have five per level, which would be 40, so... There are other various difficulty settings as well. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> I have, have my copy, which comes as like this, mostly as a loose cartridge, with manual. Not sure if it ever came boxed or not. Looks pretty nice and all. Uh, it says Atari Age here, so we can tell it's been published. Uh, program contents 2002-2003 Eric Ball tells us to use with joystick controllers and has uh, what looks like a partial skeleton as the uh, cover art with a cobweb in it or a spider web. Now, I'm not sure but from the looks of the cartridge looks like it's a new one uh, not actually uh, recycled or anything and of course we have the uh, top which says skeleton plus and then of course we have the manual which uh, has the same basic artwork on front as we get it opened up it tells us about the situation so far you are in a maze of twisty passages all alike certainly describes the situation you are in you hear faint footsteps so you follow the sound through the maze to your horror you discover the source of the footsteps is a skeleton and it doesn't look friendly. Acting quickly, you blast it with your undead disintegrator and the skeleton vanishes in a flash of color. But as you reload your UD, uh, undead disintegrator, I guess, you hear footsteps again. And you wonder, are you the hunter or the hunted in this nightmare? So the objective is basically to eliminate the skeletons without being killed yourself. So it then gives us a little bit of a description of the gameplay, and then over here tells you how to use the controller, which it's pretty simple. You can move forward, turn left, and turn right, and the button shoots your undead disintegrator, though you can't move backwards. Anyway, then it tells us, uh, gives us a little screen overview of how things should look in game, which they generally do look this way. And then it tells you about the console controls, which the game select and reset switch will start the game or reset it. The left difficulty switch when set to A will, that's what requires you to destroy 10 skeletons per level. If the right switch difficulty switch is set to A when the game begins, will start the life meter will start at 49 instead of 99. And the Undead Disintegrator will do only half the damage it does when the right sw difficulty switch is set to B. And if it's, uh, 
If the right difficulty switch is set to A during the game, the speed of the skeletons is reset only at the start of each level. Then the, the, it tells you about the TV type switch, which is a bit interesting. If it's set to black and white, the skeletons have a touch of death. And the game's over if you are touched by or touch a skeleton. Not really going to try that. That sounds a bit rough. And then afterwards it gives us some, uh, some final thoughts. Uh, as well as telling us how this game, the game is basically copyrighted. And uh, so you can put down final thoughts and it gives you a scoreboard where you can put down number of li uh, kills, life remaining, and level. And then we just have the basically uh, have the back, which is a little bit more credits and all and uh, everything. Basically, that's, uh, let's see, about eight pages put together if you count front and back. Anyway, it should be a pretty interesting one. I don't want to talk us through way, way too much of this. Basically, it's a 3D maze game. Maybe not quite as um, uh, pseudo 3D or advanced looking in some ways as something like, say, the original library game tunnel runner but still same concept and pretty cool oh and the game size is uh, a 4k game rom so if like uh, myself and some others at times you are playing on say a hyperkin retron 77 emulation hardware clone console it will work with it in fact that's what i'm about to get set up with for us to take a look at, into the gameplay Okay, so here we go with Skeleton Plus, uh, Atari VCS 2600 homebrew game. Okay, here's our startup screen by Eric Ball. Make sure I've got everything set. That's skill level B and B on both. Press reset. Okay, we can see it looks pretty good. Like I said, a little rudimentary. One thing the manual tells you is if uh, you're using, say, original hardware, then you should uh, then sound can be helpful if you have the ability to use stereo sound. So we've got to kill five, and I would say it's super tough, a bit tough maybe, but you can get a bit turned around here if you're not careful, but here we go, and I disintegrate him. That's one down, still have 99 life. Anyway, the sound, it will get louder as you approach closer to a skeleton. Otherwise, you just have to watch for that little dot up there, which is your locator, to tell you when you're getting close to one. Hmm, next one's supposed to be here somewhere. don't know where, though. Again, the sound kind of helps you out for figuring out where to find them. Right 
They do move on you some, so you have to keep your eyes peeled on that. Sneak up on me somewhere in there, and I don't know where yet. Cross down to E. Life left. So that's two down. Of course, I'm down to 22 life here. Unfortunately, since I got this game fairly recently, I have not had a chance to get terribly familiar with it yet. There's three down. You can get a bit turned around in here, but it helps keep you from getting too confused as, um... And there's five. So now we're on this next maze part, I guess. Which, again, here has changed color on me. This game would actually, it can be a bit scary with the uh, intensity and suspense, you know, um, not knowing what's around the next corner every time, so... There's six down. Seven. This actually might have been a good one for me to say back on some for my uh, Retro Tober lineup, but I need one to work with, and well, although you could give this some credit as being somewhat good for a Halloween type theme. Or such. Oh, and that's, they got me. And that's basically the game over. Anyway, yeah, it would have been good for my uh, Retrotober, uh, October and Halloween type theme, but I need one to work with. This is what I got, and, well, having to deal with a maze of skeletons that's kind of suspense-filled, it, it would fit the bill, but at the same time, works just fine for a regular, uh, uh, any other time, uh, how do you say, uh, Atari VCS 2600 Homebrew Review. Anyway, I think you guys get the idea of the gameplay pretty well by now. So that was Skeleton Plus, an Atari VCS 2600 Homebrew game, 2003 by Eric Ball. It's very nice work, a pretty good 3D maze game. As you guys can see, I got through one maze and to the second by killing five on uh, the uh, easier setting. So I got to knock out seven, not bad. 
like I was kind of saying, it might have worked better for, say, my Retrotober lineup for October and Halloween themed games, but uh, it also works um, because of the, the, the suspense, and uh, it gets a bit scary in a way. Like you're almost sitting there wanting to look around every corner, even though you can't really do that on your screen. But uh, yeah, it works too, just for a regular Atari VCS 2600 homebrew uh, game review, so... Nothing wrong with uh, doing it this way, since it's what I had to work with. Anyhow, I do have a couple of recommendations and links for you guys. Viz gameplay videos, Pets's Gym One, uh, Zero Page Homebrew. They have it reviewed and played uh, along with some others, and uh, as is typical for them, usually it's a pretty long one. But uh, get into it. It can be found in the video, and um, also there's plenty of other good stuff to check out. And of course, Atari Age has um, has their video where they uh, kind of preview the game in the, on their channel. So I'll go ahead and leave recommendations and links to all that for you guys. And also, um, this uh, the last uh, I got recently, and it's still available at the Atari Age store. Last time I looked, anyway for about a base price of $25. Uh, which is not too bad at all. Though, and uh, it is also available uh, at Good Deal Games in Homebrew Heaven for $29.75. Really, the choice between the two, if you were to seek to pick up a copy, would be... Uh, with the Atari Age store, they've been getting orders filled and shipped a bit slower uh, than they sometimes would here, so you might be waiting a bit, so if you have the patience and all, it might be worth it to save the few extra dollars. Whereas with Good Deal Games and Homebrew Heaven, you'll pay a few dollars more uh, at the base price before shipping, handling, uh, tax, and everything. But they tend to usually fill your order and ship a bit faster. Though they are currently um, temporarily closed um, until I believe it is um, late March or early April, or late April, early May, I forget which one, I think it's the first. Anyway, right now, if you were to try to order with them, you probably wouldn't see anything happen with it until, say, about a month, a month and a half before they reopen again. It's just one of their annual things they do starting at Martin Luther King Jr. Day and stay closed for a bit. I guess it helps them to get inventory and everything back in in check, gives everybody a break, and, um, well, you know, so you have to take time off from things once in a while, so. But still, it's basically a choice uh, once that's they're open again all. Would you prefer to save a few extra dollars and have the patience wait a little longer with the Atari H store? Or do you not mind paying a bit more for something that's probably going to get filled and on its way to you a bit faster? I'll leave that decision up to you guys. I've shopped plenty with both and they're both very good sources, so I won't really recommend one over the other. I'll go ahead and leave links to both, um, particularly at the Atari H store where this one can be found. And with um, Good Deal Games and Homebrew Heaven, uh, it doesn't work quite that where I can leave a direct link. You just have to go in there, uh, select their Atari 2600 section, and scroll down by the alphabetical listings until you find it. So, so I'll go ahead and leave that for you guys, along with the recommendations and links for my preferred YouTubers. Uh... In the meantime, you guys keep an eye out with my announcement posts, um, as this coming Wednesday, my very first Atari 5200 home, uh, original library game review is going to be coming up. I still don't have quite my, uh, the first of my, uh, modern, uh, modern built, um, uh, controller, reliable controllers. That has been arranged and is on the way, but i uh, going to have to use my original controllers for this one. But fortunately, I have one game, at least, which will work that way for the most part. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
get going. So you guys keep an eye out um, on the for the announcement post here on YouTube, on Facebook, and on my Twitter, and you'll find out what it's going to be. Uh, big shout out to my Atari 2600 uh, Facebook group. Love you guys over there, and hopefully this video will upload and y'all will be available before too terribly long. I really am glad I got to do this one again because really I've been doing as much uh, Atari VCS 2600 homebrew games as I, uh, reviews as I used to. Sure, they're easily affordable if you uh, shop smart and uh, all, but you know I've done so many of them. I wanted to kind of change things up and do some other things. for a while, so I'm glad that I got to put another one of these down here, and I know Skeleton Plus is, although an older game, 2003, it is pretty well regarded. Uh, for an early game, it's very nice looking, pretty nice sounding, plays very well, so, especially if you have that stereo sound uh, on your original hardware, where you can uh, use sound as another cue to help you with locating the skeletons. Anyway, if you guys enjoy my channel's content, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And please don't hesitate to leave any questions, comments, or suggestions down in the comment section below. You guys take care, have a wonderful Sunday, and hopefully I will see everyone back here again on this coming Wednesday.